Hey, Dr. Derek Nelson here, the owner of Kaizen Physical Therapy. I just had a patient come in today who was debating whether to get a rotator cuff surgery or not. And I want to go through what we talked about. Um, because a lot of people, I think, are, are debating whether they need surgery for a torn rotator cuff. Um, and to be honest with you, there's a lot of people that get surgery that don't need it. So here's one of the biggest questions you can ask yourself uh, is if we took away the pain, if we took away your shoulder pain, would you say that you don't need surgery? If the answer to that is yes, then you likely don't need surgery, you need some pain relief. You need somebody to work on you to find a pain solution. When, when surgery is necessary is when you are unable to move your shoulder the way that you need. Not because of pain, but because you physically can't do it. And that can be caused from a torn rotator cuff. Now, Science has shown us time and time again that people who have torn rotator cuffs have absolutely no pain. The same people who have uh, pain may have a torn rotator cuff as the people who have no pain and they have a torn rotator cuff. And in fact, we've seen studies where people go in and get uh, torn rotator cuff surgery and then they take another MRI uh, months down the road and they still have a torn rotator cuff, but yet they say they feel better. So it's not the torn rotator cuff that usually is the problem. There's something else that's causing the pain. And that could be found by looking at movement, by looking at how your neck moves, how your spine moves, and how your shoulder moves. And we can find out where the pain is coming from, what the root cause of it is. So again, if you're considering a torn rotator cuff surgery as being your solution, think about if the pain was gone, would you say, I want to go and get uh, a rotator cuff surgery? If the answer to that is yes, if the pain was gone, I don't want to go get uh, surgery, then likely you don't need surgery. The torn rotator cuff surgery is going to be best for somebody who is limited physically because they, they can't use their shoulder the, the way that they want due to weakness. Because again, if you have a torn rotator cuff muscle, then that's causing the real problem, you wouldn't be able to move your arm as much as you need. For example, lift, reaching your arm up overhead. You wouldn't be able to do that because again, the muscle is torn. So pain relief and torn muscle are two different things. And a lot of times, even if there is a torn muscle, we can still get your pain relief and get you feeling uh, close to 100%. And that torn rotator cuff is still in the shoulder.